Out your best. It, it is. Hello, Sarah boy. Hello, Sarah boy. Edwin here uh, today uh, on the farm, and I'm going to show you a few new things that have arrived at the farm today. What are you going to show us? Uh, I'm going to show you our feedlot sheep. Uh, feedlot is uh, when you actually put animal through uh, in an enclosed environment, in this case sheep, uh, for an extended period of time, usually between 70 to 90 days, uh, to get to to get them into a certain um, kilogram that, uh, specification. So uh, our sheep, our, my target is uh, to get them to that 55 kilogram life weight, um, so that we can uh, sell them um, to the abattoir in hopefully 75 days. So far, they are around uh, two weeks in. So let's check it out. So this is the enclosure that uh, my very handy uh, groundsman has designed, which uh, is very, very good. Uh, it's uh, fully designed last year with wonderful uh, features, which include double gates, double gates, and then a shed. And then the raceway, in the back, let's come over here. You see the raceway? The raceway uh, is able to uh, help us load the animal up uh, where we need them to be. Um, yeah, this is the forcing pen. Yeah, all nicely done. Okay, so this is how the uh, pen works. Okay, so as you can see, it is uh, kind of like a comb shape. Essentially, you try to push the sheet through here. Uh, last week I needed that uh, to do the vaccination. Um, I did some booster vaccination for sheep. So just so you push the sheet through here. And then you close the back. After that, you push them through this line. Okay, so this is actually just enough for one sheep. As you can see, one sheep. And then if once they line up as a file, that's where you are able to carry out your vaccination. Or if you need to weigh them individually, they will go through these. You usually have a few students at the back. I usually have a few students trying to push the sheep up one at a time, and then they get weighed. And then uh, after that, they are out into this area before they get released to the uh, back to the enclosure again. Yeah, that's it. It's pretty, um, it makes the job a lot easier to do uh, because she are uh, herd animal, so they will follow herds. Well, not more of their peers in the herd. That's how it works. Otherwise, it is almost impossible to catch individual sheep. Uh, if they are active, you are, you, it makes it super hard to catch in the enclosure. That's why we have this kind of funnel system. Um, the holding pens, the posing pens, and the raceway uh, to, to work with individual sheep. Okay? Uh, actually make the process a lot quicker and cause less stress to the sheep. Remember, less stress means more gain. It's always uh, animal welfare is very, very important for uh, the productivity of uh, the farming industry, especially from the animal industry. This is uh, a closed environment for these uh, 45 sheep. The whole purpose is for them to stay in this place to fatten up uh, with the help of grain. We have uh, barley and also lupins. Okay, so uh, lupins are very high in protein, and barley is a good energy source for the animal. Uh, the whole purpose is same thing with uh, gaining weight. You uh, you need to have a surplus of calorie essentially. So these are the you can see over here. These are the white suffix sheep, uh, and the combination of white suffix uh, sheep along with Whip sheep or whip sheep. And both of these are meat sheep, which is very different from the famous merino sheep where you use them to produce wool. These guys produce really good uh, meat. Mm. Yep, they are prime lamb essentially. They are less than one year old. So by the time they get out of here, they will be around one, uh, one just beginning of one year old, and this would be around that 50 something kilograms. Do we have to shave them? Shear them? Yeah. Yes, in a way. Uh, the white suffix, they do need to be short. Okay, which will be this week, um, and then uh, the other one, the tall blue sheep, you can see the one with uh, one top. This guy actually shed by themselves, so you can, yeah, they go through a season where they will just um, uh, shed themselves, so you don't, uh, it's actually quite convenient for the farmer. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna put some hay in the hay feeder because it is empty. Uh, this hay feeder is pretty good. So that they don't go all over the place. Usually I like to put them in first before I cut them. That way 
hey, he's not going out all the way. Out all the way. Yeah, you should always make sure the strings are never uh, ever left inside. And the more you push it, must always be taken out and put in the appropriate place, like a bean or something. Sheep in a feedlot setting, uh, usually uh, the end goal is to make sure they get unlimited amount of grain. Okay, so you fill that whole silo up, grain feeder, and then they should be able to eat whenever they want to. Okay, so however, then usually there is a period of about one month where you gradually introduce them the grain. If they haven't been introduced before, that's what you need to do to prevent the problem with acidosis, which is grain poisoning. Uh, they cannot have, they cannot get introduced uh, to unlimited amount of grain straight away. Okay, you will kill the ruminants uh, due to the grain poisoning problem. So when I've been introducing them slowly, as you can see here, there's not unlimited amount of grain. There's only a little bit, a little bit for them to slowly take them out, and then we add more. But very soon, after two more weeks, they will be on full uh, grain diet. They still get unlimited amount of hay, okay? Because ruminant must get enough roughage on top of the grain every day in order to uh, have good rumination process going on. Okay? Because at the end of the day, you are actually feeding the bacteria in the um, the good bacteria in their gut, so that they can have uh, the volatile fatty acids produced by the bacteria in order to gain a lot of muscle. Okay, uh, so high quality hay is a must. And it is unlimited as well. We should give them, and then they should be able to eat them whenever they want to. Okay, uh, pick up on top of the plant right? diet. So, not only you have to give them food, you also need to monitor the condition of the sheep on a daily basis. You need to make sure all the sheep are looking active, are not able to walk around freely. Okay, and also uh, not looking dopey, like dopey and sad or sitting down. Okay, because that can be a sign of uh, distress and could be indicating some sort of health problem. But from your point of view, yeah, all these sheep are actively feeding and also actively walking around. Is leaking, which is a good sign. Yeah, so no, no sheep should be leaking as well. Okay, so those are the things you have to watch out for. And we have to make sure that okay, the water, okay, water is dirty and so clean them out. And also provide our sheep with a mineral salt block. This mineral salt block is for them to lick on. As you can see, it has been eaten. So a mineral salt essentially is giving them uh, a lot of extra vitamin minerals. Okay, so to summarize, um, you have to make a uh, pre-loading sheep in a small setting like this is relatively straightforward. Okay, you have to have the pen area and enclosed area for them to be stay in for between 70 to 90 days. And then uh, you need to provide an unlimited amount of grain or pellet, high energy food. Okay, in under one condition though is you have to gradually introduce them and start from maybe 30%, 60%, 90%, 100%. And they constantly monitoring them for signs of breakfast and for the diet. And of course, the unlimited amount of high quality hair, which in this case is healthy hair, uh, to get them to have a healthy gut and healthy relationship uh, process going to them. And, so, and then from there, you weigh them, uh, usually around two to three times during the seven days. And one is weighed in, we already weigh them in, most of them weigh about 30 to 40 kilos. And then I'll do a midweek. Uh, meat term um, weighing, which is uh, about six, seven weeks in, uh, two, two months in, and then finally uh, a weight off, so just to keep track of how much weight they have. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, I've shown you the more we have. Hopefully, uh, I, will, I will be definitely be putting up a, a video at the end, 75 days each. But once I hit that, I will continue to monitor whether they hit that 55 kilograms of weight that I'm looking for. And I'll show you the end product. From there, we'll see how often, uh, how long it takes us to get to that weight from the 30 to That's it. Uh, if you like, please uh, like the videos and subscribe to me as to give me more motivation to make more of these uh, farm videos for you. Thank you. See you guys. Bye.